board will now come to order. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Troop. Alderwoman Flowers. Alderman Bosley. Alderman Moore. Alderwoman Hubbard. Alderwoman Triplett. Alderwoman Young. Alderman Conway. Alderman Ortman. Alderman Vollmer. Alderman Villa. Alderman Arnowitz. Alderman Wessels. Alderwoman Howard. Alderwoman Florida. Alderwoman Beringer. Alderman Rohde. Alderman Kennedy. Alderwoman Davis. Alderman Schmid. Alderman French. Alderman Boyd. Alderman Vaccaro. Alderman Ogilvy. Alderman Cohn. Alderman Williamson. Alderman Carter. Alderwoman Crewson. President Reed. Alderman Troop. Alderman Bosley. Alderman Moore. Alderwoman Hubbard. Alderwoman Triplett. Alderman Conway. Alderman Villa. Alderman Vollmer. Alderman Wessels. Alderwoman Davis. Alderman French. Alderman Cohn. 22 present. He's mad, so I call. Quorum being present, I'll ask everyone in the chambers and the galleries who's able to rise to please stand for prayer. Giving all honor to God. Almighty God, source of all authority, we humbly ask guidance in our deliberations and wisdom in our conclusions. Amen. Um, Alderman from the 13th, you recognize. Thank you, Mr. President. I move to appoint David Sweeney as a temporary clerk and legal counsel of the board and Donna Booker as a temporary assistant clerk. Moved by the Alderman from the 13th, seconded by the Alderman from the 15th. Any discussion? Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman True, Alderwoman Flowers, Alderman Bosley, present. Alderman Moore, Alderwoman Hubbard. The, no, uh, the, all this is is the temporary hiring of the clerk. That's all that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't get nervous. All the woman Hubbard. There you go. All the woman triplet. All the all the woman young. Alderman Conway. Alderman Ortman. Alderman Vollmer. Alderman Villa. Alderman Arnowitz. Alderman Wessels. Alderwoman Howard. Alderwoman Florida. Alderwoman Beringer. Alderman Rohde. Alderman Kennedy. Alderwoman Davis. Alderman Schmid. Alderman French. Alderman Boyd. Alderman Vaccaro. Alderman Ogilvy. Alderman Cohn, Alderman Williamson, Alderman Carter, Alderwoman Crewson, President Reed, Aye. Alderman Troop, Alderman Bosley, you said present last time, <laughs> Alderman Moore, Alderwoman Triplett, 
Uh, All the women triplet. It's for a vote. It's for a vote. Yeah. Alderman Vollmer. Alderman Davis. Alderman French. Alderman Cohn. 23 I votes. By vote, you stay in the motion. Alderman from the 13th and temporarily appointed the clerk and the legal counsel for the board. Uh, introduction of honored guests. Any introduction of honored guests? Any, any introduction of honored guests? Alderman from the 22nd. Good morning. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to have as my honored guest, uh, Gail Brown with Brown Core Camp. Any further introductions? Any further? Alderman from 27. Thank you, Mr. President. As my special guest, I'd like to have Demetrius Alfred with Local 73. Any further introductions? Alderman from 23rd. Yes, I'd like to have as my special guest, Celeste Reeder from the Realtors. Alderman from the 16th. Thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. I would like to have as my special guest today, Mr. David Holmes, Plumbers and Pipefitters, Steve Spreck, Communication Workers, and Anthony Lancia of AGC. Alderman from the 8th. Good morning, Mr. President and members of the board. Um, we have a, an election fair going on down in, in, in the rotunda today. And as my special guest, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, two members of the 8th Ward, the, the chairperson of the election board, Joan Berger, who's with us this morning. We also have Mr. Ben Phillips, an 8th Ward member, a uh, member of the election board. And then we have two, um, two Democrats from the That's election good. board. <laughs> we have Mary Wheeler Jones, our Democratic director. And then we have Mr. Ken Franklin, the Assistant Democratic Director, and many of you know him. There he is. All the women from the six. All the women from the six. Thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. I would like to introduce as my special guest, Mr. Vernon Betts. Any further introductions? Any all the women from the fourth? Thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. I'd like to have the AT&T family, uh, Amron Yui, and Greg Carter. <laughs> <laughs> Any further introductions? Any further introductions? No further introductions? Alderman from the 13th, you recognized on resolution number one. Madam Clerk, could you please read the Resolution number one, president, sponsored by President Reed and Alderman Wessels. The Board of Aldermen adopts the rules of the Board of Aldermen as the rules of the Board of Aldermen for the 2012-2013 session. Alderman, Alderman from 13, you recognize on, on the first reading of resolution number one. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for adoption of resolution number one. Hearing no objection, it's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All in favor say, well, actually, we need to take a vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Troop, Alderman Flowers, Alderman Bosley, Alderman Moore, Alderman Hubbard, Alderman Triplett, Alderman Young, Alderman Conway, Alderman Ortman, Alderman Vollmer, Alderman Villa, Alderman Arnowitz, Aye. Alderman Wessels, Aye. Alderman Howard, Aye. Alderman Florida, Aye. Alderman Beringer, Aye. Alderman Rohde, Aye. Alderman Kennedy, Aye. Alderman Davis, Aye. Alderman Schmidt, Aye. Alderman French, Aye. Alderman Boyd, Aye. Alderman Vaccaro, Aye. Alderman Ogilvy. Alderman Cohn, Alderman Williamson, Alderman Carter, Alderman Alderwoman Cruson, 
President Reed? Aye. Alderman Troop? Alderman Vollmer? Alderman French? Alderman Cohn? 25 I vote. I vote. You stay in the motion of Alderman from the 13th and pass resolution number one. Resolution number two, sponsored by President Reed and Alderwoman Hubbard. The Board of Aldermen is authorized by ordinance to hire staff for the 2012-2013 session. The following individuals are appointed for the 2012-2013 session of the Board of Aldermen. David W. Sweeney, Clerk Legal Counsel, Donna Booker, Assistant Clerk Lisa R. McNichols, uh, Administrative Assistant Sherry Bill, Executive Secretary, Sarah Gleason, Secretary, Tina Johnson, Secretary, Tracy Billups, Secretary, Michelle Knox, Secretary, Teresa Chambers, Secretary, Sharon Cunningham, Receptionist, Typist, Terrence Morris, Morris uh, Administrative Aid. All along from the fifth, you work you're recognized on resolution number two. I move for adoption of resolution number two. Would well, you like to request unanimous consent? Yes. Yes, I request unanimous consent. And then make the motion for adoption. I move for adoption. It's moved by the alderman from the fifth. I entertain a second on that motion. Second. Seconded by the alderman from the twelfth. Any discussion? Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman. Let's roll, anybody? Thank you. <laughs> Hearing no objection, the previous roll motion carries. All along from the fifth, that was a good job. So congratulations on that. Report of city officials. Report of city officials can be found in sections A, B, and C of the agenda and, ha and have been placed in all aldermen's mailboxes. I have them as honor the mayor, the following correspondence. Dear members of the board, I have the pleasure to submit the following individuals for reappointment to the Loop East Community Improvement District. The appointment of Donna Wilkerson, who resides at 4516 Persian Place and whose term will expire on April 1, 2016. The reappointment of Jill McGuire, who resides at 6185 Westminster, whose term will expire on April 1, 2016. The appointment of John Russell, who resides at 232 North Kings Highway, whose term will expire on April 1, 2014. The appointment of Dr. John Wright, who resides at 5290 Waterman Boulevard, and whose term will expire on April 1, 2014. The appointment of Kevin Farrell, who resides at 1901 South Compton, whose term will expire on April the 1st, 2014. I respectfully request your, uh, your approval of these appointments. Sincerely, Francis G. Slay, Mayor, City of St. Louis. All along from 28th, you recognize on the mayor's appointment to the Loop, e Loop East Community Improvement District. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I would move to confirm the mayor's appointment to the Loop East Community Improvement District. Moved by the alderman from 28th. Entertain a second on that motion. Seconded by the alderman from 20th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. That's the extent of report of city officials. We'll dispense with line items 8 through 10. First reading of board bills. Board Bill Number Two, sponsored by Alderman Vicar, on an ordinance pertaining to Fireman's Retirement System, enacting a new section to reflect the intent for the Fireman's Retirement System to be qualified government plan to be a qualified government plan under the provisions of applicable federal law containing an emergency clause. Board Bill Number Three, sponsored by Alderman Bosley, an ordinance repealing Ordinance 69094, pertaining to the issuance of any package or drink liquor license for the premises within the boundaries of the third. Third Ward Liquor Control District containing an emergency clause. Board Bill Number Four, sponsored by Alderwoman Crewson and Arnest, prohibiting the issuance of any 3 a.m. closing permits for any currently non currently non 3 a.m. licensed premises within the. 28th Ward Liquor Control District containing an emergency clause. Board Bill Number 5, sponsored by Alderman Ortman, an ordinance designating certain real property located within the city as part of Mini Wood Park. Board Bill Number 6, sponsored by Alderwoman Young, an ordinance pertaining to special use district establishing the Koski Elsko Business and Industrial Area Special Use District, providing definitions and finding, findings pertaining to said district. 
Board Bill Number Seven, sponsored by Alderman Ogilvie and Ordinance, recommended by the Planning Commission to change the zoning of property from a single-family dwelling district. Family dwelling district, both A, single family dwelling district, and D, multiple family dwelling district, and F, neighborhood commercial district, to the H, area commercial district in multiple city blocks on, on Berthold, Graham, Clayton, and Oakland, containing an emergency clause. Board Bill Number 8, sponsored by Alderwoman Young, and Ernest, recommended by the Planning Commission to change the zoning of property from D, multiple family dwelling district, and F, neighborhood commercial district, F, neighborhood commercial district only, all three D, multiple family dwelling district, and F, neighborhood commercial district, and J, industrial district, and J, industrial district only, to either the D multiple family dwelling district, the F neighborhood commercial district, or the G local commercial and office dis district only in multiple city blocks containing an emergency clause. Board Bill Number 9, sponsored by Alderman Bosley, and an ordinance recommended by the Planning Commission to change the zoning of property from the C multiple family dw dwelling district and the G local commercial and office district to the F neighborhood commercial district only in city block. 5217 for property on Glasgow and Natural Bridge containing an emergency clause. That's the extent of our first reading. Reference to committee. To the Public Employee Committee, Board Bill Number 2. To the Public Safety Committee, Board Bills Number 3 and 4. Put to the Parks Committee, Board Bill Number 5. And to the Housing Committee, Board Bills Number 6, 7, 8, and 9. That's the extent of reference to committees. We'll dispense with line item 13 through 20. First reading the resolutions. Uh, We've already adopted resolutions number one and two. Start on resolution number three. Resolution number three, sponsored by President Reed and Alderman Boyd. The Board of Aldermen authorizes and directs the clerk of the board to prepare the index to the journal of the board for the 2012-2013 session and that the journal be prepared in both a bound and printed format and in an electronic format in numbers to be determined by the clerk, but in on event to exceed 15 copies total. Alderman from the 22nd, you recognize on the first reading resolution number three. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I move for unanimous consent of resolution number three. Hearing no objection, Alderman, please proceed. I move for adoption of resolution number three. Moved by the Alderman from the 22nd. I can take a second by the Alderman from the 20th. Any discussion? Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Previous roll. Been a request for previous roll. Hearing no objection, motion carries. Resolution number four, sponsored by President Reed and Alderwoman Young, the Board of Aldermen hereby authorizes a continued payment to each alderman and the president of the Board of Aldermen of an expense allowance in the amount of $350 and the issuance of the equivalent of 200 United States sta postage stamps per month of such de denomination required to mail a standard first class business letter as a periodic payment to each alderman. All the one from the seventh, you recognize on the first reading resolution number four. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I would move for unanimous consent of this resolution. Here, no objection, all the one, please proceed. I move for adoption of resolution four. Second. Moved by the alderman from the seventh, seconded by the alderman from the twenty second. Uh, any further discussion? All along, would you like to request a uh, previous roll? I sure would. It's been moved and seconded. There's been a request for previous roll. Hearing no objection, motion carries. Resolution number five, sponsored by Alderman Carter, the Board of Aldermen directs the Public Safety Committee to continue to convene hearings for the purpose of examining the issue of St. Louis City corrections, including the four recent escapes issues related to staffing and budgeting issues related to work hours and civil service classifications. Alderman from 27, you recognize on the first reading of resolution number five. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for unanimous consent. There's been an objection to unanimous consent, uh, so you can move to suspend the rules. Yes, yes. Yeah, I move to suspend the rules, Mr. President. It's been moved by all been moved by all of them from the 27th to suspend the rules. I entertain a second. Up. I can't hear who said second. Oh, Alderman from the 18th. I heard your voice, but I was looking here for you. Alderman from the 18th. A second about Alderman from the 18th. Any discussion? Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Troop? Aye. Alderman Flowers? Aye. Alderman Bosley? Aye. 
Alderman Moore, Alderman Hubbard, Alderman Triplett, Alderman Young, Alderman Conway, Alderman Ortman, Alderman Vollmer, Alderman Villa, Alderman Arnowitz, Alderman Wessels, Alderman Howard, said I'm staying. Alderman Florida, Alderman Behringer, Alderman Rohde, Alderman Kennedy, Alderman Davis, Alderman Schmid, Alderman French, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Vaccaro, Alderman Ogilvy, Alderman Cohn, Alderman Williamson, Alderman Carter, Aye. Alderman Crewson, President Reed, Aye. Alderman Moore, Alderman Young, Alderman Vollmer, Alderman Rohde, Alderman Cohn, 24 I votes, one abstain. And one and no. One no. By vote, you stay in the motion from the Alderman from the 27th and suspend the rules. Alderman from the 27th, you're recognized to proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for adoption. He's moving for adoption of resolution number five. It's been moved by the Alderman from the 27th, seconded by the Alderman from the 18th. Would you like to request previous roll on? Thank you, Mr. President. Request for previous roll. Hearing no objection to previous roll, motion carries. Thank you. Madam Clerk, please make note of that. So noted. That's the extent of first reading of resolutions. I dispense with line item two, 22 and miscellaneous unfinished business. We have none. Announcements. The next board meeting is April the 27th, Friday, April the 27th at 10 a.m. in the chambers. That's the extent of my announcements. Any further announcements? Any for Alderman from 27th. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, this Saturday, um, the 27th Ward, April 21st, I can think of the Saturday, uh, April 21st at 10 a.m., we will have our monthly ward meeting. Uh, we, I encourage everybody to come out. It starts at 10 a.m. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Any further announcements? Any further announcements? Alderman from the 21st. Uh, Mr. President, this, uh, this Saturday, the 21st Ward is proud to host the Open Close Conference at the Sanctuary, located at 4449 Redbud Avenue. It's an opportunity for urbanists across the city to come and discuss the issue of vacancy in the city of St. Louis. All right. Alderman Finney. Um, Mr. President, uh, we had the election fair in the Rotunda today. They will also have the opportunity to have the election fair um, Thursday, April 26th um, from 10 a.m to 2 p.m. at Harris, Harris Stowe State University, and that address is 3026 Laclede Avenue. And the significance is, is um, it's unfortunate in this, in this country today, but we have to educate people about their responsibility and their right to vote. But uh, if that's what it takes, we'll educate them and tell them why it's important. But it is important, so we'd like people to attend. Thank you. All right. Uh, Alderman from the third. Alderman from third. Yeah. Uh, Mr. President, members of the board, I'd like to announce that on the 24th, the last Tuesday in the month, the third ward regular Democratic headquarter organization will hold its monthly meetings. And there will be a lot of people there from city government to police chief, from both the uh, police uh, captain from both the 6th and the 5th district will be there. They hear concerns about crime in the neighborhood. Let me say, it has dropped drastically in the Hyde Park area since we've been having these meetings. So we're inviting everybody to come out to these meetings so you'll be able to meet some of the city fathers that are responsible for trash collection, street paving, et cetera, and they can answer any and all questions you may have relative to city services. That's next Tuesday at 6.30 Clay Elementary School. All right, thank you. Alderman from 26. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. 
Next Tuesday also, we'll be doing a crime supporium meeting in the 26th Ward at Union Memorial Church. Uh, we will have the circuit attorney and also the police chief there. We encourage a lot of our neighbors to come out. It's getting ready to get warm. And uh, we need to be proactive so we can have safe neighborhoods. So that's Tuesday at Union Memorial Church. Thursday is our regular ward meeting. That's the 26th. So we invite all the constituents to come out so they can attend the ward meeting. We'll be just discussing uh, the loop and some of the developments that are going on Delmore in the 26th Ward. Thank you. All right, thank you. Any further announcements? Any further announcements? Also, we, you know, we're, we're going to embark upon another very busy session. We've had, um, you know, a lot of busy sessions in recent history, and we pass a lot of board bills through this Board of Aldermen. We're often criticized about the work we do down here, but uh, but you guys, you know, we do great work for the citizens of the city of St. Louis. So I think that each and every one of you should be very proud of that. And some of the things that we look at, a lot of times, it's very easy to take those things personal if, uh, if, uh, if the vote does not go your way. And uh, you know, I think that uh, it, it, when we let those things happen, we end up being divided. And we're never strong divided uh, you know, as a city, as a household, as a community, as a board of aldermen. I think we need to always remember that and stand, stand together on those issues that are important to us. Uh, if, if the vote does not go your way, it just didn't go your way. That just means that the other person felt a different way about it. And we should make sure to keep those things in context as we embark upon this new session. So I'm looking forward to a very active session, a lot of active debate, debate and a lot of good work being, you know, coming out of this board this next session. Alderman from the 13th, you recognize on the motion to excuse. Thank you, Mr. President. I move to excuse the alderman from the 10th and 25th wards due to necessary absence. It's moved by the alderman from the 13th, seconded by the alderman from the 27th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Alderman from the 13th, you recognize on the motion to adjourn. Thank you, Mr. President. I move to adjourn the meeting until Friday, 10 a.m., April 27th. Moved by the alderman from the 13th, seconded by the alderman from the 11th. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? We stand adjourned.